Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing Google's new Pixel 4. I want to thank Google for sending this out. This was a gift from Google. It's really cool to be part of Team Pixel and to bring you early content around Pixel 4. So this is a special box. Opening it up, we have the Pixel 4 itself. And below that, we actually have a case for the Pixel 4. This is the Pixel 4 XL. And I can show you what this case looks like. Um, and right up front, what I love about the Pixel 4 is it ships on lock. So you can choose to pre-order this from the Google Store. And if you purchase Pixel 4 Unlocked, you can use it on your favorite carrier of choice, such as US Mobile, Wing, Tello, or Mint Mobile. And these carriers have significantly affordable plans. Okay, so I'm gonna cover what comes included in the box, as well as some of the new features of Pixel 4. So let's slide the case out of the way for the moment. Take a look at the Pixel 4 XL. I actually do not know what color this is, so it's gonna be a fun surprise. Oh, looks like I opened it upside down. We got the clearly white, clearly, as you can tell. We have a little pull tab here. Let me get this plastic off. That was like a little burrito. So this is the clearly white model. We do have Gorilla Glass 5 on both the front and the back. And the back has a matte texture to it. This is really nice. The Google G, that little G right there, that is actually a glossy finish. We have an orange power button on the right-hand side with a volume rocker, USB-C port on the bottom, and on the other side, the SIM eject tray. Pixel 4 comes with an eSIM built inside of it and that SIM eject tray, so you can use it again on your favorite carrier of choice. Next, inside the box, we're gonna find some paperwork. This is where you're gonna get that SIM eject tool. You can honestly just buy this, pop your current SIM card out and pop it in, and you should be good to go, except if you're a Sprint customer. And I think Metro by T-Mobile, they do some weird things there as well. But mostly you can just pop your SIM card into your new Pixel 4, you'll be good to go. Um, next included in the box, we have our transfer USB-A to USB-C uh, connector there. I did a video on how to switch from Android. I actually tried out Pixel 3a for a little bit. You can check that video up there if you're interested, switching from iPhone or even switching from your previous Android device. We also have included a USB-C to USB-C cable. This is for charging your Pixel 4 with the included fast charging 18 watt power brick. So with the Pixel 3a, I believe Google advertised about seven hours of use with 15 minutes of charge. I'd imagine you get something similar uh, with the Pixel 4. So this is everything that comes included with Pixel 4. There are a couple things missing though. First, you don't get any USB-C headphones. That's a little unfortunate. Google sells these separately on their store for $30. You can also consider waiting for their Pixel Buds. They're gonna be wireless coming out early 2020 and you do not get any USB-C to headphone jack adapter. Um, that is a little bit unfortunate. I wish there were some more audio-friendly accessories included with Pixel 4. Let's move on to the Pixel 4 case. This is the Pixel 4 case by Google, again, for the Pixel 4 XL. Let's open this up. I'm expecting literally to just get the case in here, and there you go. This is their fabric textured case. I love that it has a microfiber lining. This helps keep the glass back sort of scratch free. It has a, it's kind of disguised in there, but there's a bump uh, for the volume rocker. And of course a matched color power button to match the color of the Pixel 4. Let's pop that in here so you can kind of have a look of what this looks like. Fits very snugly, protects the camera bump on the back. Um, again, you can see the volume and power buttons. You have an open bottom. And what I do love about this is actually, let me get the Pixel 3a. What I love about this case in comparison with the Pixel 3a case is first of all, it has a completely covered top. I like that little extra protection, feels a little bit nicer, um, but the Pixel 3a does have that headphone jack. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. Um, and because Google is going all in with their face unlock, you do not get that uh, little cut out in the back for the fingerprint reader. So I really like that smooth, flat back design. Um, you may like having a cutout or prefer a fingerprint reader, but I have seen that Google's face unlock technology is pretty fast. So now let's quickly talk about what's new with Pixel 4. Now that I've got Pixel 4 set up, I'd love to quickly go through a few of the new features here. 
First, as I mentioned, Google is going all in with their face unlock technology. They have a radar sensor built into the top uh, forehead here that will detect when your hand is approaching it, get that screen unlock ready, and allow for one of the uh, faster face unlock technologies that I've tried. Uh, that will also allow for gesture-based navigation for swiping back and forth between playing music. I think the music controls may be more of a gimmick, but I do think having that sensor in there and getting that phone ready as you're approaching it to unlock your face faster will provide an overall better user experience. So I think features may be a little gimmicky, but the overall experience will be improved because of having that radar detector. Um, of course, you have the dual cameras now on the back of the phone. You're looking at a regular wide angle lens as well as a telephoto lens and Google does take some really amazing photos. The camera app has improved night sight, which supports astrophotography, which is very long exposures. It also has improved portrait mode, which leverages data from the two cameras on the back for greater depth accuracy. This allows you to take portrait photos of larger subjects or of people from farther back. Google Assistant is now closely integrated into Pixel 4 with the Pixel Neural Core. Google mentioned at Google I.O. they were able to decrease the file size of Google Assistant from 100 gigabytes to just under half a gigabyte, which should be able to fit it onto the Pixel 4 for faster responses. If you squeeze the side, that side squeeze is still supported, activates Google Assistant, it's supposed to be faster and provide you with the help you need throughout your day. And of course, Google now has that glorious 90 hertz display, um, which you can kind of see, you can't really see, it doesn't translate well on video on YouTube. It helps the phone feel fast and snappy provide a great experience. So those are some things new with Pixel 4. Having Google Assistant closely integrated into the device will help Google do what they call making help magical, which I think is the theme of the Pixel 4. So that is the unboxing and a little overview of what's new with the Google Pixel 4. Please like this video if you found it helpful. Consider subscribing for more videos like this one and stay tuned where I'll cover the best cell phone plans to accompany your brand new Pixel 4. I'm Stetson, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.